Elliot, the Wendigo Wood, is separate from his sister, leaving her to sleep soundly, recovering in a subway station below him. Sneaking away, he finds himself standing in front of a hospital, a hospital that he hopes will hold the secrets to heal him. His arm is a mess, and his mutations aren't helping, but hospitals and the cataclysm, well, unfortunately, it's where many dead arrived and then rised, and it would seem that a large number still reside there. And so it is with caution that Elliot approaches and hopes an autodoc waits for him inside. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, No Hope, where Elliot is hopefully going to find a way into this hospital here. He's going to have to find a way past the zappers, past the many dead out the front, and right now we haven't had too much luck. Now there was a window smashed down here in the last, so we could try and find our way through there, especially if we try and bring some of the dead out. That's probably going to be the best thing that we can do, so that's what we're going to try as we start to make our way back down here. We're going to hope that we're not going to run into more trouble. We can see a fat zombie to the west apparently, and where's that dinosaur? We're not seeing it right now, but there is still some trouble in there, and we're not going to trouble ourselves with that. I would still like to maybe try and see if we can pulp this corpse though. Just one less enemy that's going to be hanging around here and high. Thanks for destroying that downspout. Very kind of you. A hand-rolled cigarette, that's going to have to wait. And nothing in that wallet. So we continue moving down towards the mess hall. And I'm going to try and stay at a little bit of a distance here so that we can see in, but so that ideally they can't see us. And let's go over towards that opening. Okay, so we have a kid there. There's a pupating zombie. There's a zombie soldier. That's not ideal. And we've got a tough zombie that's coming for us now. Let's just see how this fight goes. All right, pretty good. Elliot, you definitely can handle yourself with the sword, but we don't want to get you out of stamina though. You are swinging it around with just one arm. Hi, a semi-automatic MP machine. It's a submachine gun. Okay, that's neat. Stinky Bart puts on starch. We can probably do without it. There's a dive bag in this hiking backpack here that we might be able to make use of. Uh, the first aid kit box, we most certainly will. We're gonna take some things out of it though. And ideally, we'll probably just keep these things in Elliot's bag going forwards. What's in here? Pads, okay. So yeah, wanna try and figure out a way that we are going to be able to fit that gun into your pack. He has enough volume, so it must just be a length thing, quite possibly. 40 centimeters, okay. How long are you? You're 67 centimeters, that, that does make sense. There's a fair bit of ammunition in there though. Man, I would love to be able to make use of that. I think at the very least we should um, try and move it away from the body here. Oh, because it's in the backpack, it's a little difficult to move. Oh, and we can't even wield it with one arm at the moment, so not really an option. Okay, that's fine, it's just gonna have to stay here for now. We can make a little note here though. We'll make it cyan and we'll just say submachine gun. Gun. Yeah, not gunny. Because Dusk may be able to grab that in time. We've got a medic that's making its way kind of in this direction. A hazmat zombie we're also going to have to deal with. And we should probably have a look at taking our backpack off if we're going to be fighting a lot here. But at the same time, we're okay. Let's take the iodine tablet. Catch our breath. And we've got a zombie. Okay, let's start swinging. Yeah, I do think... Swinging it with one arm is causing us to just use a lot more stamina. I am kind of tempted to leave some of our equipment out here because we're not trying to gather up medical supplies per se, and we could just go in with the knife. I'm not against doing that. The duty belt should still be able to hold quite a few things, so let's drop the backpack for now. And we're going to go and wield the bayonet. All the survival knives and everything else that we've got, we can probably look at dropping them. Oh, we have, okay. Oh boy, all right, yeah, we will come back for that. For now though, we just need to try and lure those that are closest to there away, or we just go in and then get out. Ah, how wonderful, flesh raptors. So the pupating zombie that was here just exploded and flesh raptors emerged from its corpse. They are small winged 
predators that dart through the air on three thinly haired wings that look like stretched human hands. A sheer jagged spike juts out from the point where the wings meet. It looks like nothing you've seen on Earth, and yet it is strangely made of human parts. How fantastic. Okay, that was a really good strike from Elliot to start with here. We will try and strike at that, and we're going to move back because, oh boy, there is so much noise. Here comes trouble, and all that broken glass is going to bring more zombies on over towards us. So a few quick strikes from the knife is enough to take that one down. We've got a protein ration here and another first aid kit box. Do we have time to grab these things? I want to try and grab at least those few. Stop picking. Ignore. Are they dangerously close? I'd say that's dangerously close. We're gonna turn and run. We've got a feral dwarf throwing rocks at us now, and oh my god, look at the amount of dead that are there. We cannot afford to stop running yet, so we're gonna keep going. Around the corner, it's a blind corner, which is not always a good idea. We've got a creepy crawler here, who is a child, now a mutant, with blackened skin and massive eyes. Well, that's just great. We need to keep on going. Kill the thing, and then just move, Elias. We need to try and see if we can either break the line of sight of these dwarves, or take them out as well. Let's get around the corner, and fight them as soon as they make their way around. Keep on stabbing. Don't stop. Thankfully, Elliot's natural armor is enough to kind of protect against their very, very rudimentary weapons. There we go. That's both of them taken out. The sheath is most certainly tempting. I think we're going to go and put that on right away. Let's see if we can smash these corpses. Let them have a little bit of a breather. Okay. Oh boy. So, so much noise was going on up there that I am hoping that most of the dead will have started to make their way well on over towards that. We do also have this house here that we may be able to try and set a light, but we will need um, an ignition source to be able to do that. Let's just use Elliot's better night sight to try and stay away from the dead as we make our way closer. We can actually see inside now. That's kind of useful. All right. Oh boy. All right. Ah, uh, they're still all around that glass, huh? That's not superb. That's another down. Okay. We could just try and knock through this door. Got a zombie cop on the inside. Great. All right. Strike down another zombie. Good job, Elliot. And wow, they are freaking loaded. Canned pineapples, first aid kit box, which, yeah, ideally I would like to try and take the gauze. Thank you. The aspirin, everything else like that, that can, that can stay for now. But a goddamn MRE be good for good for dusk but right now we don't have our backpack we can't afford to do that oh man they're freaking everywhere aren't they i do feel like a good fire could make quite the difference because it's going to draw a lot of the dead over towards it so did elliot have a ignition source did he have a lighter hmm okay well we nearly got boomed there so that's more than a little dangerous. Let's get away from the acidic zombie as well. Um, we'll see if we can get close to where the backpack is and then just see what we've got in there. Okay, do we have any lighters? No, but we more than likely are going to be able to find something like that on someone. Let's just bring this Rottweiler away from the others. Turn around, start to strike it. Good job, Elliot. And yeah, let's just have a look at these other structures around here. This is a gas station, so there's a possibility that we might be able to find a lighter stashed away here somewhere. See what we can find. Well, just having a quick look about, I'm not seeing anything right away. Not to say that there isn't something. We've got a few houses here as well, so there's a strong chance that we're going to find some matchbooks or something like that in there, even with things being much more scavenged. Okay, Elliot, towards the house we go. We do have one zombie that's in here. We'll let it stumble on out towards us. As this is the house that I think we'd probably want to try and turn into a blazing inferno anyway, uh, I'd really like to take out this pupating zombie before it actually turns into flesh raptors. It's heavily bleeding, but we need to do quite a few stabs to take that thing out. Thankfully though, all those attacks barely cost us any stamina. Man, okay still a lot more dead than I would like to be fighting in here and oh boy that brute has seen us so we're away we're away there are other houses that we can look at and we are going to do just that we're seeing so many more pupating zombies now because well it's it's happening things are a changing and we do have a basement here so we may end up just having a look in that but I'm gonna make my way around here we're gonna see what else we can find wooden beads hmm okay interesting looking house classic literature we don't really have a backpack to carry things in at the moment but we'll see we'll see what's around lots of spices no matches though there is a freeze-dried meal that we can eat but 
We'll avoid it just for now. Elliot's actually doing okay. He's just a little peckish. Yeah. Okay. No matches. So, let's make our way towards the basement then. Peek down first of all. Okay. This is a very nice looking basement. And you know what? This is a freaking magical basement. Yep. Jovial wizard. And writing on the wall. Hot damn, what a find. And there's something behind here. Footsteps. Ah, Dusk would be so excited to be here. Camo tank top, blazer. I don't know if you can wear any of that without a kind of conflicting here, Elliot. Let's actually just allow you to catch your breath back before anything else. And we'll double check that there isn't anything cool on in any of these spaces. Not really. The multivitamins we will take though. All right. Okay. So we have to get a move in. Grabbing this dragging it back stuff spills from the coat rack and then standing behind here your surroundings shift and oh boy yes they have that is an acidic zombie elliot standing back and he's trying to move away from the acid he does actually have a little bit of protection from acid because of his slimy trait moving around let's hope that there is something useful here i can see a few things there's two flyers here which i don't think are magical in any way we have some crystallized mana, which we are going to pick up, and a potion? A lesser mana potion, and a candle. We also have a robe, and we have a translocator gate here. So, this gate can link with the other gate that we discovered all the way back up here in Glenburn? Up here in Millis. So that's a Millis magic gate. So yeah, we can travel quite far using those, but we do also need to know the spell. So we are going to call this gate, uh, what is the location? Brewster, Brewster gate. There we are. And I don't think it's something that we can just stand on and, and have it be working. Yeah, um, okay. Was there anything else hidden here? There's only one way to know for certain. We will try and see if we can pull these, but it's going to be very difficult for Elliot to do with just the one arm. He's going to be straining a lot. I don't know if there is because, I mean, we've kind of checked these things out dusk before and not had much joy. We did get some crystallized mana from it, though, and a potion. That is something, I suppose. But we should still mark this house as somewhere that well for one has a magic gate in it for sure magic gate brewster yeah i don't know it was just something about the the top of this building reminded me of the other one it's the it's the beads whenever you kind of find these beaded curtains it makes me think hmm this could be a magic basement and while this has been a magical house for sure uh it hasn't really helped us when it comes to finding a a lighter <laughs> although that tough zombie though you may have something that we need let's see I'm going to try and get you to stumble over one of these chairs here. Well, it didn't quite work, but we killed you all the same. There's a soldering iron. Okay, but that's uh, still not exactly what we need. I will mark this house as explored. Fast food restaurant and a few other things. I mean, look, we don't have to set a place on fire outside of the hospital, but I, I think it's a good way for us to potentially deal with the very, very large numbers that are in there could check over here by this fast food restaurant it looks like we might have some roaches here though back door is locked and okay we actually do have another house here so i'm gonna check that out first that a zombie stumble at us in the kitchen which elliot has managed to deal with a refillable lighter i will take also 10 light ballistic vest is quite nice uh which I think is actually okay because this large tactical backpack it has on it um, is, in, is in pretty good condition. I'm tempted just to take the whole freaking backpack, really. Um, let's see about chucking that on. I mean, I'll wear the, the ballistic vest and just see how that's kind of conflicting at the moment. And I'm assuming, is it only conflicting with the duster? It could be. And if that's the case, well, I'm fine with doing away with the duster. Let's go and drop that. Yeah, okay, we can wear the ballistic vest there. Excellent. Oh, and let's just go change what side those are on. That's fine, we've got a candle in our holster. Interesting, Elliot. And yeah, let's chuck on the large tactical backpack for now. There probably, probably was one thing. The radio will get rid of that. But I suppose it's still worth us actually taking the battery out of that, just so we have a light disposable. And I'd like to still take the duster because that's something that Dusk may be able to use. A medium propane tank. Kind of want to see if we can blow that up. I feel like that would make Elliot a little happy. Okay, so we've got what we need. Um, we're not going to mark this place as explored because I still think there is more potential 
for good stuff in it. But yeah, okay, so we don't want to, we don't want to destroy this house, the magic house. Okay, Whew. did not really see that zombie brute there. Um, I should have been paying a bit more attention, huh? Okay, so here's what's going to happen. We are going to drop the propane tank here. Uh, we're going to get charged by a zombie. We're going to try and kill said zombie. And then we're going to start to try and get some fires going. Using the refillable lighter, start a fire quickly. On the couch, ideally. Okay, tried to boom us. It failed. Refillable lighter, start fire quickly. All right, now I think we need to start moving. And we can start fires elsewhere in here. Let's just get going. Elliot, move, move, move. Holy crap, okay. All right. That brute's quite fast. Wasn't expecting that other zombie to be there. Let's just get a little bit more distance here. Man, it closes the distance if he stops running. So we just need to keep on running for a little bit, break the line of sight, maybe get into this building here, and then let's go out through the, the rear of it. That seems safer. All right, catch your breath, my lad. Zombie brute's been spotted. Hot damn, man, this guy does not stop. Okay, they're already standing in the fire and dying, which is great. It hasn't even spread that far yet. Um... But there's going to there's going to be more. Um, let's climb over this fence. Wow, th uh, no, a lot of them are dying. So the fire could actually be spreading a little bit more than I thought. It's only on those two squares still. But I mean, it's still it's still working. Man, that brute has got a really good sense of smell. Let's avoid the sludge. Okay, so I want to get down towards this home here. We're probably gonna have to kill the zombie. Slash away, Elliot. Good work. Okay, uh, can we afford to take a second here? That zombie down the bottom is probably going to come for us. Indeed it is. Okay. Oh, did you just hear that explosion? From the east. I think, I think the propane tank just exploded. Either that or it was the boomer exploding. Uh, either way, great. But look at that, look at that little conga line going over towards here now. So we're going to run, uh, because we need to, we need to be away from that right now. <laughs> yes. Yes. No doubt Elliot is rather happy about that. We do have a big gas station here as well. Look, that zombie cop is going straight for it. All of the dead in the area, they're all heading towards there. But no, it's 4.15 in the morning. Crap. Okay, this isn't the worst case scenario. I think what we need to try and do now is get over to the magic basement and just sleep in there. The fire will spread mad. It may even get over towards where the stairs are, but it shouldn't destroy those stairs specifically. But we need to start moving now because we are going to be seen soon. Okay, so we're just going to go in little sprints occasionally before we make it over towards the house. There's a zombie blank around here somewhere. I don't like that. Um, I got to hope that the fire has spread. Um, it sounds like it has, based on the amount of destruction that we're kind of hearing right now. <laughs> Sorry uh, for the maniacal laughter. But yeah, no, it, it's still going on right now. So we can close that door here and we should be able to pretty safely sleep here. Um, our, everything else is looking good right now. Wounds, that's all fine. Dusk is probably going to be waking up soon. So we can check in with Dusk to see how things are... Actually, no, yeah, Dusk is just going to have to stay sleeping. Her wounds were rather bad. Elliot, you're just going to have to try and wait the day out. And if you can sleep now, it's probably going to be worth you doing it. Oh, hang on. Okay, we're going to stop trying to fall asleep. Elliot's weapon has started speaking to him. Yeah. I spy with my little eye. Oh, right. I don't have eyes. I'm your best friend. Right. I'm bored. You should take a shower. What's for dinner? We should go home. It's not safe here. I'm bored. There's something following us. I can feel it. Well, knife. Thanks for that. Great. Wonderful. We probably should take some antipsychotics soon. Let's take some now just for safety's sake. And we're also gonna take some multivitamins because he hasn't been eating a lot. And you don't actually have any water with you, do you, my lad? That's not superb. We don't really wanna go and drink regular water if possible. I mean, we just need to get you back to your backpack, uh, which we are going to be able to do. But I think, I think we're just gonna have to spend some time here today. Thankfully, we do have this candle so we can get that lit now. So he can do things with his time. And I think it's probably still worth him doing that. His athletics is great. So we don't need to really worry about that all too much. He doesn't have anything to read, but practice. Maybe we could do some practicing. He already has metaphysics. Okay, but he's not going to be able to unlock anything because he doesn't have, um, well, it's saying that, hmm, extended channeling. He could do some practice on that. Actually, no, no, here's what he's got to be trying to do. 
purification seat. It says it's too difficult to do right now. Um, he needs to have his hands free at the moment. I don't know if he needs light, so we'll extinguish that for now. Uh, we'll put the bayonet into its sheath, and I'm just going to keep on trying to cast purification seed. It does take a little while to cast it, but that's fine. I think we keep on trying. Because here's the thing, if he can successfully cast that, then we can purify the water that's in the toilet. Okay, it is 611, and we've gotten pretty far. We've earned over 2,000 experience. We have 2,000 to go. Elliot at this stage is, he's tired and he's very thirsty. The sun should be on its way down though. Night is about an hour and 57 minutes away, so we'll, we'll keep at this just a little bit longer. Or alternatively, we could set an alarm to go off in three hours, let him have a little bit of a sleep. I think that's what we're gonna try. Okay, all right, we wake up our alarm going off. We have a need to kill. We're going to have to kill soon. Elliot's perception is down a little bit at the moment. The cold and the thirst is taking effect. Let's look at moving on. We're gonna activate our sheath take out that bayonet and see what's going on upstairs because I'm oh so excited. Oh, look at that. Wood ashes. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it's quiet now. Look at all of that. The devastation. That's a lot of wood ash. Um, what is around here? Honestly, not much. All of the bodies have just burnt away into, into nothing. So it's been burning pretty damn hot, but that's, uh, Okay, there are a lot of bodies up this way as well. Oh no, okay. Uh, here is the majority of the of the things that are on the ground. And there's a lot. There is so much to go through here. A whole ass food person died down here, it looks like. They've got a hard chest guard. Food person's cape and mask. There is so much to see here, it's almost too much. Static magazines, Glock magazines, all of it like on a single square here. So I think the easiest thing to do is sort things into categories so that we can kind of figure out what we're looking at first of all. Go to our inventory here and then just kind of go through, see if there are things that we are interested in and then take them like food, for example. Oh, we need to do an all around search here. Okay, good. That Glock magazine has some ammunition in it. Same with the Static magazine. As for tools, nothing that we really want here. We've already got a refillable lighter, so we're doing fine in that. There could be other things hiding in these backpacks, and there's quite a few backpacks here. We have an army bayonet down here in this sheath. Be tempted to try and take that for dusk, so we'll take the whole thing for now. Just so many corpses. Look at all of this. Wild! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, uh, so it looks like, yeah, most of the bodies are kind of around the front here, from what we've been able to see so far. Okay, uh, so I imagine it's probably the same thing kind of over here, that they weren't able to get all that far into the fire. Although in saying that, there's still a lot of things right around here. So let's move on to that square next and kind of do the same thing. We've got some coins, uh, but that's, that's about all that we're getting down here. Uh, we are going to smash that corpse. And it looks like we've got even more over there in the bathroom. Just absolute devastation. Oh, we're gonna take that syringe, most certainly. You know what, let's take those eye drops. The unread memory cards. So many corpses, look at them all. All these zombie medics, so many. Hot damn. And obviously, yeah, there's even more for us to look through over here. Got some codeine, yes please. And we can start looking at taking some MREs as well. Not so much for Elliot, but certainly for Dusk. And looking through the rest here, it looks like the bodies kind of start over in this area. Got a canteen, excellent. We're gonna keep that for Elliot. I think that Elliot may have a kill total higher than Dusk now after all of this. That is wild. I'm so glad with how successful that's been. That's just so very good. Okay, so I do wanna actually have a look at the army bayonet and just see how it uh, compares to the marine bayonet. Oh, the marine bayonet's better in every regard. Well, I guess that settles it then. Oh, I'll let you discuss that in the comments. Uh, but let's get back up towards where Elliot's backpack is. And there probably are still going to be some stragglers here. I mean, like we're already seeing, we're seeing a devourer. Okay, that's not good. That's, that's bad. Um, okay, so we have our large tactical backpack here. I would like to try and take all of, well, most of the things that Elliot has here. But really, it's only going to be things that I deem to be absolutely necessary. A lot of the clothing we're just going to leave behind. We're definitely going to be taking the scroll, that smoked sucker, and the subject suit, as well as the, the longsword vacuum-packed bags. 
We still have food in there? We might. We'll take that survival knife too. Okay, the devourer is very close. What is left? Oh, we barely grabbed anything. Okay, well, that's not ideal. Let's just bring the devourer down this way. Um, over this way, if possible. Hello? Okay, I think we kind of lost it there. Yep, seemingly. Let's take out this lone zombie and try that again. Oh man, okay. All right, <laughs> this is gonna be a bit of a trick in getting this thing to follow us for long enough. It seems to go back to this point quite a bit. Keep on running, Elliot. Let's try and see if we can get it down here in this building because it should get a little bit stuck. Well, not stuck, but we'll just try and lose it here and then get back up ar around that corner. Okay, all right, there we go. We actually got everything that time. So, um, wow, this has been very, <laughs> very destroyed. Okay, that's a flesh raptor there. Right, so, hospital. There are still going to be folks that are lingering in here. I have no doubt about that at all. Uh, the main thing that we are here for is for Elliot, is for the auto dock. However, I will not miss the opportunity to grab food when it's staring us in the face. But, you know, we still want to be careful that we're not grabbing things that are going to go off really soon. There we go, Elliot. Let's actually go and start drinking back some things. We're going to start with the energy cola. We're going to have a, a fair bit of that. It's going to be a little shaky, no doubt. And then some clean water afterwards. Uh, a little bit more clean water. Okay, well, hopefully that'll start to bring his thirst levels down a little bit. His torso is fairly encumbered now, so we need to be cautious when we're going into fights. But he's still going to be pretty good up close. Okay. Um, yep, we're hearing movement. We can see a zombie right now, but wow, they've just, they've done such a number on this place. They've really destroyed so much so far. I don't know where the auto dock would be in a hospital like this, but I'm gonna think upstairs. If we can find stairs, that is. If there is an upstairs. I think there should probably be an upstairs here. Let's just see what we got. You know what? Oh yeah, no, it definitely, it definitely does. It goes up a few levels by the looks of things. Okay, all right, so we've got a regular zombie here. Um, do we think there's gonna be stairs down here? I'm gonna say that answer is most certainly a no now. These are patient bedrooms by the looks of things. Do we have time to drop this off? Just, okay. All right, let's take you out safely, effectively. We're gonna take that ammunition, thank you. And then we're gonna go for your pal. Come on, let's go. One shot was enough to do it, okay. And the tactical backpack goes back on. I'll still check to see what's in here. Rochronium, it's a spilt liquid that's in there. Okay, it's a muscle relaxant. Got some antiseptic there, yeah, we will take that. Okay, and big equipment room by the looks of things here with not a lot of equipment because most of the stuff is going to have been stripped from these places. Uh, lone brainless zombie, precise. I strike where I mean to. Um, why? Oh, piercing weapons level four. Good work, Elliot. Okay, I don't think he's gonna be able to get much more experience from fighting now because of that, because he's kinda of got all that he can get. What is in here? Cookies? Malted milk balls, nice, okay. All right, there's definitely something on the other side here. Um, firefighters, let's not fight them. Let's just take out that kid there. MP3 player, you know what? Yeah, let's take that, Elliot. Uh, we could be listening to that now, but oh boy. We've got, we've got quite a few up this way, so ideally we will just leave them in the dust and move on to somewhere else. Um, so let's, let's do that then. Heading up this way, looks like it's kind of a similar setup. These are all patient rooms, so I don't think we're going to find an operating theatre in any of these rooms. So we keep on moving. Tough zombie. Do I want to try and fight you with the backpack on? Well, we're going to try, aren't we? And we're going to succeed by the looks of it. Yep, gotcha. We didn't even spend that much stamina. I'll take it. Let's take this one next. It's a medic, I think it was. Yeah, zombie medic. Okay. Um, more locked doors up this way. And they're double locked doors? Then I guess all of these little rooms have been double locked doors, haven't they? So, yep. Keep on going. Take that one out. Got a tough zombie now. Come on, keep on striking. That's good, that's good. Elliot's still doing a lot of dodging and blocking, mind you, which is helping him avoid damage. Two zombie medics and a regular zombie. Okay, I'd love to get all the way up the top here, but also I'd kind of like to go over towards the the left. We will start by trying to complete this northern uh, path, though. Come on, let's go, let's go. So many locked doors, unfortunately. Um, more basic rooms and your people. Hospitalized humans. This being is severely ill and in some form or another requiring intensive care that is not available anymore after the cataclysm. There is nothing you can do for them. Elliot closes the door. 
keeping in mind this living pantry. Okay, we've got a boomer to the north, and I think we just have more rooms here. We need to try and find a staircase if possible, which may very well be behind a locked door. Could be in a room like this, for all we know, a single door that we've not seen yet. Okay, I'm just going to start bashing on this door and see how far we get before other things show up. All right, we're struggling quite a bit to get through there, so let's take that out. And we're definitely going to try and get some stamina before we try and go further through the space. It took a while to catch your breath there, Elliot. Okay, I'm glad that we're starting this uh, early tonight, though. Guess we're going to go over towards the west now. All right, come on, big boy. Let's go. Elliot stabbing, spinning around it, finding multiple different points to let his knife do its grim work. Who's in here? Zombie medic? Come on, let's finish this. There we go. Okay, and you're clear of anything that we could possibly want. Uh, further west. We, d we can see a terminal off in the distance. And, um, looks like part of the roof has actually collapsed here. I'm going to take you out first, just so we don't have anyone attacking us from behind. Elliot is getting damn good at doing that now. Okay, come on. Let's just bring them out, kind of one by one. Take them out in a controlled manner, wherever we can. These are regular zombies that we're dealing with so far, so it's good. Let's try and keep it that way. Anything that's too bad, we'll try and lead to somewhere else. Let's just crack that one out of the box. And Elliot, let's get your breath back. The zombie has been spotted. I'm sure you have. Are you overweight at the moment? No, no, the weight capacity is totally fine right now. What's going on with this door? Okay, it is a room. Oh, wow, a lot of this has been destroyed. Oh, oh, oh no. Yeah, crater. Could there possibly be a staircase up and in that direction where the crater has struck? Is that a possibility? Uh, yeah, it's certainly a possibility. I don't like that as a possibility. That's an interesting looking bed. Is that? It's an auto dock. It's a friggin' auto dock. Okay. Oh boy. I really don't want that zombie soldier to destroy that. Um, okay. So, we need to kill you first of all. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Um, we also need to drop our backpack because we're gonna need every little bit of nimbleness that we can get here. I'm gonna close that door behind us. Zombie soldier, let's start to go to town. Elliot swinging, striking wherever he can, trying to find gaps in the armor. It's bleeding heavily. It keeps on trying to strike him. He is dodging and he is blocking. And little by little, he is getting it. You can see that these quick strikes are only doing one damage to it. But when we pierce and when we get criticals, we're getting that little bit more damage. It's been grabbed, but he still managed to take it out all the same. Elliot, bloody good job. Okay, let's wait a while, catch our breath. That auto dock is what we are here for. There's some adhesive bandages in here, okay. Is there any anesthetic? There isn't, which is kind of a nightmare. Operator missing. Splint broken limbs. Internal supply of splints exhausted. Operation impossible. See, here's the thing. Even if he could put a splint on, I don't think he would be able to wear it. Maybe it could like force one onto his arm, but we need to get a splint. Okay, all right. It's not so easily done, is it? So, let us search elsewhere then. See if we can't find one. Okay, Elliot, striking. Let's take down this decayed zombie. And a swimmer. Okay, that's next. Quick work made of that. So, there is a possibility, maybe, that we could find one in some of these rooms down here, because they do seem to be more like operating theatres. Okay, hazmat zombie, you got to go down first. Nothing that we really want to take from you. Regular zombie is next. Nothing on you, okay. All right, take down you. Okay, what do we got here? Plastic bags, snacks, and antiseptic. The antiseptic is actually useful, uh, but we can't afford to take that right this second. Is that, that's not an auto dock. No, that's a centrifuge, okay. So unlikely that we're gonna find what we want in there. Splints should be by auto docks, and if they're not, then, oh boy. Okay, trouble. Uh, other things will have heard that noise. We've got kids surrounding us now. It's not great. Just, just continue to back up. We don't want to get grabbed in a bad situation here. So when we start to see ourselves getting surrounded, we should start backing up. Take out that brainless zombie. We've got one more to slash at here. Good work, Elliot. Okay, all right. Catch your breath, lad. And I think we'll still check this room. Take down the zombie first. Stumbles towards Elliot in the dark, and he takes it out without a problem. Yeah, centrifuge. Yeah, it is. Okay. No blood analysis needed. All we need now is a splint. 
at least to try things out. And if it doesn't work, then, well, we'll do something about that. We've got some urban explorers maps that will actually come in handy here because we don't have any uh, sight on the area. So let's look at grabbing our backpack then because we're just going to start to get some other supplies. Sawbones. Okay, malformed armor, misshapen bone grown all over this zombie. It is thankfully struggling to get through at Elliot. That, that is quite the enemy. Okay, let's get that backpack back on. Um, looking up here, are we likely to find anything? Well, in saying that, let's check out this computer console. No doubt it's going to unlock that down there. Medical supply, bypass security. How are your skills there, my lad? You got a computing skill of one. You are learning more. You could try. What's the worst that could happen? Well, an alarm that'll go off. that will draw every single one of the dead over towards it, uh, which could clear out the hospital. So that's not that's not all bad news. Um, <laughs> this is fine. This is totally fine. Is that just a thermos? It is. Okay. Medical gauze? Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. Sounds like they're kind of falling over each other at the moment to get. Uh, going. Oh, come on. Okay. We have another auto dock here. Uh, nothing stashed next to it. We've got chocolate bars, though, and a bandage. Okay. No, no arm splints yet, right? Same deal here. Splint, broken limbs, internal supply has been exhausted. Okay. How difficult is it to make a splint? Because it's Elliot that actually knows how to make them. Let's see. Arm splint. Medical gauze, we've actually already got it. We just need a stick and we need cordage or medical tape. We should totally be able to find some medical tape here. Actually, you know what? We'd probably be able to find medical tape down among all of the bodies of those medics that were um, burnt alive. I'm sure that we can find some stuff down there. So let's go see what we can dig up. Oh, and a little bit of good news. We can take that semi-automatic uh, machine gun now, which we are definitely going to be taking. So let's get rid of that note then. Medical tape. Okay, in our old backpack we had some. So yes, we have medical tape. Oh, duct tape also works as well. And then just a stick is needed. Good. Okay, take that. Uh, stick. I mean planks work too. Uh, and there's lots of planks here. So, um, all right, let's let's just go and drag this somewhere. Um, somewhere that we can kind of close up. Okay, all right, let's get moving. You know what? I think this is good enough. Let's stop hauling, close that door, and let's get a little light going. For now, it is going to be that candle. Okay, let's go splints. Arm splint. All right, we can make it. We've got it. We craft the arm splint from memory. Let's extinguish that candle. There we go. And let's figure out which of the autodocs we want to try and go to. Let's take this zombie down. It actually had an IFAC pouch on it. Very nice. Take those bandages. The water purification tablets. Theoretically, we're not going to need, but I would like to take your two pistol magazines that you've got just hanging out there and that USP pistol as well. What a find. Sometimes we just get really, really lucky with these zombies that have uh, have backpacks on them. They have some very, very useful things in them. Okay, so um, which one do I trust more? This one doesn't actually seem to have a lot of dead nearby. So um, right, where is the containment here? Operation Couch. I think it's kind of over in this direction. So let's try and drop it there. Um, splint. Okay. It, we, we put it in the auto dock. Okay. Splint. Broken limbs. Thankfully, it is actually saving beforehand. Okay. Um, did that do something? Disinfected right arm. Uh, disabled right arm. Uh, I'm not sure. Did it? The arm splint is still there. Splint. Broken limbs. And nothing happens. Okay. Okay, so here is where we are going to have to debug this. So let me see what I can do. And there we have it. Your broken limb has mended. So his arm is still very, very, very damaged at this stage, but it is considered to be mended. So a regular bandage at this point will start to heal it. Let's make sure that we also disinfect it fully as well. So that's gonna give it a really good chance to actually heal up. Amazing, we've done it. We achieved our goal of making it to this hospital. Elliot, you've done a fantastic job, my friend. An absolutely fantastic job. But we still need to get you back home. And that's not going to be super easy. Back towards that subway station. That's our next step. So, uh, let's not go out the front. 
Going down the bottom seems to be the best way to get in and out of here. It's good to know that there are auto docks here, that they do work. Theoretically, if we want to try and bring Dusk here, it could give her a really good chance of healing, but all of her bandages are already set, so I don't think that it's going to make any real difference. Oh boy, Elliot. What a evening you have had. Now, I don't think I'm leaving anything behind. I, I don't, I don't think. We do have a clothing store over here. We're actually, you know what? Maybe, uh, no. Let's just get back to your sister. No delays this time. We do have a zombie just lingering around here. So I'll let Elliot put them down. And I think, I think we're going to keep him with the knife going forwards, even though he can use the long sword. I mean, maybe in the long run, the long sword would be better zombie hunter okay you're gonna go down before we go down so elliot get ready to square up against this thing stabbing up multiple times he manages to dodge as it strikes clawing at him not a chance all right lad let's get you going back downstairs here um do we want to grab the subway map because there could actually be more that we can pick up because really we're kind of only seeing well i guess we'd want maps kind of going from there even so yeah, sure. Let's go and smash this thing. Wow, very difficult to do with just the knife, it seems. So, let's try the longsword instead. That's more effective. There we go. Bruce to subway map. Thank you very much. Popping back downstairs. I don't think anyone else will be here yet. No one else has made their way up. That's very good to see. We're going to go and light this candle, and we're going to activate that map. See what else we can pick up down here. Nothing, nothing new. Okay, that's all right. Let's go get rid of that then, Elliot. And let's hope that Dusk is doing okay. There she is. And okay, I think she has managed to heal up a little bit. Now, before we swap back to Dusk, we're gonna have a look at just dropping off a few things. Um, we don't really want Elliot to be carrying around guns if possible. So we're gonna be dropping off the magazines, the ammunition, uh, that bayonet that is going to go uh and i still think it's worth us having just some of this extra food on elliot the archery drill book we're going to be dropping that the memory cards the crystallized mana and these mres the duster will drop off too yeah there we go oh and of course the long sword is going to be going back to dusk all right oh and elliot is already reloading pistols um i swear we just took those off of you my dude um <laughs> Oh, okay, thankfully Dusk has started recovering overnight, but she is still going to need to rest a little bit more. All of her bandages are now considered poor, so we're going to have a look at kind of redoing those. Just having a look to see if anything changed overnight here, and it hasn't from what we can see, so that's good. We can't wield the long sword yet, but we can grab a few of the things that are here. The duster I'm going to put on and just see what that is going to conflict with on Dusk. Uh, pretty much okay. Everything that's under here. And wearing it under makes no difference. It's going to be conflicting no matter what. So we could, we could tear the sleeves off of it, turn it into a sleeveless duster. Then we can wear the arm guards and everything just fine. It would just be the, the riot chest piece then that would be conflicting with it. But we don't necessarily need a duster. So we'll let that go for now. We'll take the drill book, have a flick through it and see what we can get from that. And yeah, we'll, we'll pretty much take everything else here. Thank you for all of those things, Elliot. Now, first of all, let's go to that sheath. The carving knife we're just going to be getting, well, I was going to say getting rid of, but it still is a useful tool. It is a carving knife after all. So we will keep it. We're going to be putting the army bayonet in there instead because that's a much better holdout weapon for her. Okay, and now bandage time. It's going to have to be the boiled makeshift bandages, which are average quality. It's going to be a little bit of a slower heal, but we will, we will get there. She is still tired at the moment, so we'll probably try and get her to have some sleep but that's going to be in the morning so she's just gonna have to stay up for a while longer she's considered underweight at the moment so we're definitely going to be trying to eat a few things i'm surprised that we're not getting more from the mres specifically there are just bags upon bags upon bags in these freaking mres <laughs> can be so difficult to sort through sometimes lots of uh, matchbooks though <laughs> like a ridiculous amount Maybe those other MREs are just kind of a little bit more empty because we don't actually seem to have much food here, which is strange. It's probably just teas then. Dessert package bags sealed. They're all already opened. 
water purification tablets, sugar. Yeah, there isn't there isn't too much down there for us. Napkins and whatnot. Now, as much as we should probably stay in one location tonight, the basement of that magical house was safer and more comfortable than this very cold location. So we know it's relatively safe. Elliot has just done the trick himself. We're going to be trying to do the same thing with Dusk. We are going to be having that bayonet out. We do not want to be fighting at all, really. So we're going to try to avoid it wherever we can. But Elliot is going to stay nice and close to Dusk. And she's going to try and follow Elliot's memory to get down to that safe and cozy basement. Oh boy, <laughs> that was a jump scare and a half. Okay, <laughs> let's back up here a little bit, Dusk. Back on over towards your brother. Wait for the spring of Sony to, yeah, die, just like that. Let's get that safe mode back on, huh? Professional camera, it's tempting to take, but we already have our AR glasses for taking photographs. We are not far away from that great pile of bodies. And I did want to just have one last little check through with Dusk to see if there were any bandages on the great many of them that are here. Also, that Brewster roadmap, I think we're going to take that just in case. Oh, and we do have one undead here. The twins are able to take out. Yeah, I don't think there's much else here. We've only really come away with some extra gummy vitamins and that's about it. Oh, there we go. One bandage. And it looks like there might be one over here as well. Oh, yeah, there's a whole first aid kit here, just hidden. And an MRE as well. Protein wrappers, we'll take that, as well as modern trapper. Yeah, so sometimes we are going to have things that are hidden from our view at a distance. Let's just take all of that dusk. There's, some ammu there's a lot of ammunition there, actually. 38 special, 72 rounds of it. Damn, I'm just gonna have a closer look at some of these bodies now, I think. I think while we're here, we're just gonna start knocking back some of the food that is on the ground around us here. As grim as it is for Dusk to do. All right, I think we're moving on. Down into the basement we go. Yes, much more comfortable. Now, how difficult is it gonna to be to cast? Not too bad, actually. Quite easy for us to cast at the moment because our focus is looking pretty good. 31 strength, that sounds pretty good to me, Dusk. Let's start moving some of these cases here. I'm not holding my breath, but you know, we it's still worth us checking. And of course, we are going to check over here as well. Doesn't look like we've got anything. Seems pretty clear to me. Yeah, and I'll probably move these uh, back into place. There we go, Dusk. Now, we do have, I guess, the one other space here. We'll check behind the television too. And no, nada. And let's just double check over here by this lamp as well. Nope, no hidden walls, no extra secrets, but it is somewhere that is at the very least safe. Now just for a little bit of extra caution, we're going to stop concentrating on our strength spell just because I don't want to like mentally exhaust us over time. Uh, we are going to go through into here though. Thank you for closing that, Elliot. And let's have a look at applying some proper bandages. Now we've only got a few of these, so we want to use them sparingly, but we want our arms to be looking much better, much faster if possible. Gauze on the torso as well, and we'll just reapply to our right leg. Excellent. As for the antiseptic, yeah, we're going to use it on the stuff that is most injured. And then just use alcohol wipes for everything else. Looking pretty good, Dusk. Oh, we're very hungry again? Okay, <laughs> all right. I guess it's protein ration time. There we go, satisfied, but at what cost? Let's drink some vodka as well. Now, if we do get her to go to sleep now and she rests throughout the night, we could try and see if we can make it to the cathedral around dawn, if possible. Get sight of the area. That does sound pretty good to me, but we also know that the cathedrals can be just freaking wild in general. Let's have that last dehydrated fruit before we go to sleep. We're trying to keep those calories up. We've consumed more than we have spent today, but we are still underweight. So Dusk, you gotta work on that. For now though, you should still have a emergency blanket. There we go. We're gonna drop that on the ground there so that you can use that for sleeping purposes. And we will actually try and sleep. There we go. Sound asleep. Wow. When I tell you that Dusk really needed to sleep, she really needed to sleep. It's 9 a.m. at the moment. She wakes up very thirsty, also very hungry. Her weight is normal though, so that is good. We've got that going for us. We will still try and eat some more food today, most certainly. And realistically, it would make more sense for us to just try and spend the rest of the day here, kind of until around sunset. But when have I ever been reasonable? I don't know how bad it may possibly be 
on the surface, but we can always have a little bit of a look, can't we? So we're going to be wielding our longsword and inserting into our lifting field the AR-15. There we go. Elliot, we are going to want you to come with us still. You can go back to sleep if things are too bad. And okay, what is that that we're hearing in here with us? Hello, where did you come from? Hmm? Where did you come from? Huh, well then, sneaky. I guess things are um, a little bit more active than I might have originally thought. And now we are going to be going out into the daylight, so our stats may drop. It is foggy though, so I think we'll be doing okay. There is a swarming amalgamation somewhere nearby, so... Yeah, let's be mindful of that. That zombie's nearly dead. So a quick strike, we'll take it out. Okay, Elias, let's uh, watch ourselves out here. Hmm? We have cleared many of the dead and already the sunlight is burning our hands. Not ideal. That amalgamation, okay, it's a little bit further away. That's good. All right, let's stay moving together, team. The sunlight is not our friend. And that's a devourer over there. That is the devourer that Elliot was kind of luring about okay oh and we got a zombie medic up here well all right let's look at taking you out we'll try and fight you with elliot if we can <laughs> and you didn't have a lot left in the tank by the looks of things okay so from here we are actually already getting a really really good sight of the area because in general dusk is going to be able to see a lot of what is going on from here we we could take the subway station back to this one and then just go straight across to the cathedral or instead we could kind of go down this way here if we could get to that library i would be so so happy the jewelry store i couldn't care less about but uh yeah the amalgamation i most certainly do so let's let's keep in mind that there is still an amalgamation down there and so we will have to deal with that Let's make our way through this window, first of all, and then we'll just pop out the other side and see, see what's going on, eh? Okay, pupating zombie and a regular zombie. Oh, and is that, hmm, it's a decent looking truck. It's a security van. I don't think it's gonna have much going for us, but that is an orichalcum frame. Okay, not a regular metal um, that these two would know. There is a zombie blank as well. Okay, the zombie blank I am a little bit more concerned about. Oh, and a zombie necro boomer. That doesn't sound at all fun. And there's that dull sense of pain. Okay, is it just, I think it's giving us pain. Minimal pain, oh, good bloody double team. The boomer, the necro boomer. Um, all right, here's what's gonna happen. We are gonna send that reeling back from us, back towards that wall. And we just need to make sure that we are slamming in it into it multiple times here. Is that doing damage to it? Let's see. Yes, our stamina is getting pretty low though. That's more damage. Okay, it's not going to take much more. One of those. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, all the corpses around it stir. But there was no one that close by. That's why I was trying to make sure we were going to be okay. Okay, but our stamina is low right now. And it's going to stay low, I think, because our backpack is, um, well, not looking good. Okay. Stamina's low, so let's go for the knife instead. It is going to be better for us to use while we are at low stamina. We're just gonna have to hold the ground here for now. Very, very good work there, Dusk. We have to keep in mind that these faster attacks, they are really good because they allow Dusk to use her fangs, which, as we know, are pretty freaking deadly. In the way here, buddy, Elliot whispers underneath his breath. Dusk lashes out with the knife running it through for 31 damage a critical striking the head this thing is badly bleeding but now it's grabbing dusk and damn an attack on her left arm the scrap arm guards protected somewhat but right now she is very much out of stamina and there still are other wandering dead that are making their way on over towards us so we are going to have to retreat somewhat the alleyway beckons, so let's start to head in that direction. The long sword we are just going to have to come back for. For now, we'll continue to make our way over in this direction. Let's see how far we can get before trouble finds its way to us. And it already sounds like there might be someone else down here. Elliot, do you want to continue on into here or are you just going to try and face that one by yourself? Because you're pretty capable. Let's see how he does. Nice work. One more. Okay, well done, my son. And what have we here? Card reader, FP, food person? It's soberly printed above the reader. You have no idea what could open it. A security door. That's interesting. Yeah, this is a restaurant. It, it might be a food person point, but like, r really? <laughs> 
Your face is inadequate. Please go away, we hear. Oh, we may need to have a food person helmet on. And you know what? We actually do know where one of those are. It's like over here. Now I'm just intrigued. Uh, but before anything else, we do need to sort out the stamina situation. So let's just hold here for a moment. I think we're safe enough. Catch your breath, Dusk. Okay. And let's see <laughs> about trying to find that thing. We're going to go cautiously for the moment. Stick to the edge of the building down here. Elliot, you stay close as well. Thank you. That sunlight is irritating our skin right now. Okay. So where was it then? Not here. Over by these bodies, maybe? Oh, there's a miracle lurker around here. Food person mask and cape. Okay. Um, well, let's see what we can do then. Food person mask. We're going to grab that and we're going to start to move. I don't know where that miracle worker has gotten to, but I think as long as we kind of stick to where we were just before, we should be okay. We're nearly there. Okay, so, um, food person detected. Please make yourself presentable. Uh, which I guess means putting on the helmet. Now, we do need to be careful with this helmet because I believe it can lock onto your head. Food person mask. The mascot your stomach deserves. Whether or not we need to have the cape as well, I'm not sure. I think as long as we don't activate this, we should be okay. Let's see. You put on the food person mask. Press mask on the reader. Hello, food person. Welcome home. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, please tell me we can take it off. Good, we can. Elliot, uh, please follow me into here. Uh, we're going to try and close the door behind him. We'll just go, go and push him into that spot. Yeah, a little bit further there, buddy. Okay, thank you. Let's close that door, swap positions, and let's see what's upstairs. Hello? Okay. Well, things just got even weirder. Food person. Um, <laughs> somehow we can tell they're ugly. Uh, this is a, this is a mascot. At first, I think, as Dusk and Elliot make their way up the stairs, standing next to this mannequin, we assume that this too is a mannequin. Yet, it moves slightly, seeing the twins enter the space. Hello? Can we talk with you? I'd like to, I'd like to try. Let's see. Talk to food person. Greetings, citizen. What brings you to the food lair? Um, okay. Greetings, food person. Indeed, it is I, the one and only food person. Okay. Well, I don't think that lie is going to fly. Dusk? Um, but I think food person here, I think that Dusk might actually know food person, or at least a little bit of the lore behind food person. Having had comics read to her back in her original lab, read to her by Candy, her only friend there. So I think, perhaps with genuine surprise, she calls out, It's such an honor to meet you in person. You're, you're real. Anyway, do you need something? Um, okay. I want to get stronger. Please teach me. I'm looking for a place to stay. Are you interested in some trading? I mean, we could try trading, first of all. It's a start, right? All right. Let's see what you have got. Uh, oh, <laughs> come on. No. Well, I guess that isn't going to happen. Okay. Well, we're back where we were just before. And unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to trade with food person here. I, I, I love I'm building a team people with special abilities. <laughs> just going for the Avengers route. But yeah, Dusk isn't that great with talking to other people, at least right now gonna take a while to build up that kind of confidence again we could look for a place to stay or say we want to get stronger i mean we could try this couldn't we could you teach me anything i want to i i need to be stronger that worked and that actually got our social skill up to one i can teach you a few tricks okay uh what can you teach us okay, obviously this is gonna cost us he's charging us for this here so, we can get our bashing weapon skill up to three. Healthcare, a little bit further along. Dodging, you really can't teach us much there. Spellcraft, though, you can get us up to 66%. For only $10, that's not bad. I'm kind of half tempted to go in that direction. I mean, yes, Dust doesn't have any spellcraft yet. That's a good option, I think. That or bashing weapons. I think for now, we are going to go for spellcraft. All right, let's begin. Sounds good. <laughs> oh, come on. 
And we are back. <laughs> Yet again. Now, I'm very much aware that these bugs that I'm experiencing, they're a large part due to the swapping backwards and forwards between Elliot. Weird things can happen. So unfortunately, it seems like no trading, no teaching, at least right now. And food person, I don't know if you really want you on our side exactly, but if you wouldn't mind us just having a little bit of a look around this location, just to see what we've got going on, at the very least, we should actually be able to get a bit of sight on the outside world. Yeah, he's just living on top of a... He's just living on top of a restaurant here. Uh, but this is good. This has given us a fair bit of sight of the surrounding area. And wow, that's uh, that's quite the crater up here. That's massive. Looks like we've got a bit of a horde up near one of these forests. And what? Oh boy. Attunement altar. What is that? What is that? It's, I mean, it's just on the other side of the cathedral. And the cathedral is what we were trying to get to. Hot damn. <laughs> okay, well, we have for ourselves a goal, Legionnaires. But, unfortunately, that is a goal that we are going to be attempting to reach in the next episode. Look, I wasn't intending to have a food person side quest here. And interestingly enough, we can see that one of the doors here is completely barricaded. So there may be some secret things hidden away in that room. And we're not above a little bit of prying. So we may try and see if we can climb through this window here and see what is on the other side. But of course, Dusk isn't going to want to offend Food Person. And Elliot? Well, looking at Food Person, I don't think he would disagree. That is most certainly a Food Person. Luckily, for food person though, Elliot isn't so hungry right now. He still has a bit of smoked sucker left and other vacuum packed meats. Perhaps one day we may be able to return here to try and win over this food person. Either way, it was an interesting and unexpected find. And hey, we achieved one of our major goals today. The whole reason for coming out here in the first place. The hospital was a bust for Elliot. But that in turn then allowed us to get him all nice and healed up. That arm will be all fixed up before too long. And Dusk, well, she had a very close call today. There's been more than a few of those as of late. Positioning makes such a massive difference in Cataclysm. And when you find yourself in the wrong position, there sometimes isn't much that you can do to get out. When you're grabbed, out of stamina, or your strength is low, things can go from bad to worse very, very quickly. And that's what we saw happen with Dusk today. Those skeletal dogs were tearing at her limbs. Her head and neck took a considerable amount of damage. And believe me when I say, I'm doing everything I can to avoid being reckless and taking unnecessary risks. But even when we are being cautious, Cataclysm has a way of catching us. In the next, we will continue on towards the cathedral, picking our path carefully, and then to the attunement altar. Whatever will we find lurking there? Let's find out, eh? And so, Legionnaires, I ask you all here at the end of today's episode, if you enjoyed, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay 